Welcome back, City Skylines players and fans. I'm Gomer with Gomer Games. Alright, we left off yesterday, uh, or I should say the last video, um, with building this path, connecting this path from the mall uh, over to the stadium here. And um, wanted to do a little bit of detailing around this area. I did uh, do a little bit of uh, more infrastructure off camera. Kind of cleaned up these uh, parking roads or these uh, parking lots here. Added some roads in um, and added some curbs and trees along uh, some decorations and everything. Added this other uh, extremely small lot here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, not completely done with this one yet. I've got some more parking stalls and obviously the curbs and everything to put in on this side. Uh, the roads are... Uh, I converted all the uh, plain roads to uh, the dirt road, the default dirt roads, or the vanilla dirt roads, so that way you can see the path of the roads around here. Um, and the way they're how they're all connected and they all go around the uh, stall. I would probably suggest if you're building uh, something like this in a playable game, uh, first of all, I would not have these nodes like this. Um, these nodes are way too close uh, right here. Uh, there's three nodes. There's one here. Uh, actually, there's four nodes. There's one here. No, there's three. One here, one here, and then one here. And uh, that would not work. Uh, traffic through there would be, it, it just wouldn't work. And then I would also uh, have another, uh, some other lanes. Uh, I would have a road like go through right here. Uh, well, maybe over here. And then maybe have another lane go through here. Or maybe even one at this entrance here. Uh, just to get traffic flowing through the parking lot a little bit better. Um, and make it look a little bit more realistic. But again, we're kind of painting this uh, once I turn all these to plain concrete roads. It's all going to look the same, so you're not going to be able to really see it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I designed this so that way uh, people would come out of this, off the stairwell here, come down this parking lane here, and they would either go to this lot or to this lot. And then when this lot was emptying, like this one here, it would come out this entrance and go on this one-way road out this direction. And then, um, and then this lot here would empty um, one of these three entrances over here. Um, so really, the, uh, they would never have to, uh, they would never have to cross the pedestrians. Um, the only way pedestrians would be hit would be actually inside the lot itself, uh, which I guess, uh, you know, could happen, but um, it, it's possible, I guess. Um, uh, also created another, uh, slip lane or another, uh, one-way lane going out of the ear or connecting to the main one-way lane around. And this, uh, I imagine would be kind of like a drop-off point, uh, uh, Uber, taxis, uh, maybe even limos, um, uh, for those high rollers, uh, and then obviously, uh, mom and dad dropping teenagers off for concerts and, uh, sporting events, that type of stuff. Um, it would be, uh, uh, they would go in these doors here. Um, so let's go ahead and do some, a little bit of detailing here. Uh, this is first on the agenda today. Just kind of clean this up a little bit. We got air conditioning units on one side. They really wouldn't be able to see it though um, because of the wall. Um, but we want to give them kind of something to look at. Um, also to offset maybe the noise of the air conditioning units and everything on that side. So I'm going to put in some uh, greenery and uh, some curbs in here. Um, and let's grab uh, one of these. Um, Six point five would probably work. Six fifty is probably better. Yeah. 
and I'm just using different. I just use different numbers to try to get it to, to where it doesn't look uh, where it looks like it's the same asset over and over again. Uh, but obviously, the uh, closer you put them, the more they're going to overlap. So, um, depending on how you want to do that. And then uh, let's grab some, uh, probably going to say some taller trees here. I mean, not super tall, but I'm thinking reasonably tall trees here because we want, we want them to at least be close to the walkway there. Um, It looks like this is, yeah, this is what we want, because I want something to fill in the area, but not there, it's a little bit, that one's a little bit taller. So I think that works good. I think that works. And then there's a sidewalk on the outside, and then a pretty good sidewalk on the inside there. Um... I'm going to go ahead and um, do the same thing on this side. This won't be the whole video, I promise. Um, I think I will do a little bit different, something a little bit different here. I'm thinking maybe. Um, but maybe yeah, I like that design but I don't want to do that um, I don't want to do that uh, right there so I want to do something different Maybe we'll just leave it like this. Got more reasonable sized trees in there. That kind of does it. I mean, it gives it a little bit of green there. Um, this whole area here, uh, I'm going to do this all in curves all the way down. Maybe a larger area there. It's going to go down to a single, um, single large block right here uh, all the way down and it's going to be a larger one in this area so and then I'm not sure what we're going to do on here uh, but then we're going to run like these smaller curves along the uh, inside here uh, so we'll get that get that taken care of I'm going to do that off camera though because uh, you know just watching me move these blocks around that that's get kind of boring but um, they are cool to work with so if you get a chance to download them I would definitely recommend it because um, there's a couple different versions out um, these uh, I think these are the newer ones These, uh, when you put them over the top of each other, it hides the actual, uh, uh, kind of like that actually, 
may you know, we may actually do that. I just kind of stumbled on that. But you can uh, you can combine them and make them larger structures um, and make them uh, uh, huge huge blocks or huge uh, areas uh, with these curves. And then maybe what we do this on this side even. And then do uh, something like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Not what I was planning originally, but I kind of like that. Anyway, um, but they you could do large segments, like I could connect all these together. It would just be one huge block. Um, there's an older version, and I believe these are the older ones, um, that uh, still work the same on their own. Um, and I don't have them all uh, active at this point. I've just got some of them active. Uh, but the problem with these, they do not, um, uh, the, the outer border does not disappear. So you have to either cover the border if you're combining them, or you could use them for different things. So how I use them is I use them for, uh, to act like the, the areas are layered. Uh, like, uh, that area is, is, uh, on the ground and then this here sits up and then I think these this version here also uh, allows you to move them with move it whereas the other ones will not move up and down I think this version will actually move up and down with move it so you can actually create tiered planners and everything which is the reason why I have some of these active um, and they work uh, they work quite well so yeah, it's uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, I highly recommend these for, you could use them for all sorts of things. Um, all right, so I think that works there. Um, so definitely uh, spruce things up a little bit. We'll add, uh, maybe we'll add uh, a couple trees here. Maybe some smaller trees. I want the same type of trees, though. I don't know if that's the same type. It doesn't look like it, but it's pretty close. And then maybe add some. that there and then maybe do some uh, maybe do some flowers around the outside of this These do take a long time to get them to look right. Uh, um, so depending on how good you are to begin with, uh, you could mess with these things for I want to say hours, but it could it could be hours. You could mess with them for quite a while to get them to to look just right at a distance and at different angles and and different things. So depending on you always want to twist around and look at stuff at a different angle because uh, things get uh, moved at, at different heights and everything else just like this one here is obviously
got elevated up to a different height than this one did too. So you want to drop that in there and then uh, I'm going to add a little bit more onto the side. Red too. Uh, yeah, this works. I don't know how realistic this would be having these flowers around this tree like this, but that's what we're gonna do. I think that looks uh, pretty good there. Um, and then obviously we're gonna fill in all these boxes here. Um, and it's going to be kind of difficult. Uh, I think we're just going to have to use trees to do that and just use the top of the trees to kind of fill in these boxes because uh, these were all these will all stick to the ground but uh, because of the way this uh, stadium is built. So we're going to do that. I'll do that off camera but we're going to go through here and do that all the way across there all the way around. All right, um, now we did add um, some entrances here to the um, underground parking, or I should say quotations underground parking. Um, since it's a painted city, it's not really underground parking. It's um, just a road under there. Comes in through here and then uh, um, I'll probably make it loop over here or something like that. Um, debating on whether to do another, maybe another exit over here um, or something. Um, maybe on this side or maybe even on this side. Maybe do another exit or something. Uh, just because this is kind of a large parking complex. And A, you should have as many ways out as possible um, for traffic flow and for safety. So I'm just thinking that uh, of that situation. So, so I just put those in. Um, I did go through, I think it was a couple of videos ago, two, two videos, maybe three videos ago. You were doing a playable city and you wanted an underground parking garage. What you could do is you would level this all out. And then you would put these roads in. You'd put a tunnel in, tunnel entrance in here tunnel entrances here and then this segment here um, now you wouldn't do this segment you'd probably do like this segment here here and here you would make all this ground ground level and then you would put parking garages at uh, in like a trench through here or you could just put regular parking lots like these ground lots here in that also um, but I would actually use parking garages because it holds more cars and you get more traffic and then you would use a procedural object building or some sort of procedural object uh, uh, ground cover and you would put that over the top and obviously you'd want the trench deep enough so the garage is below the ground level and then you would just put the building on the regular ground level and then you'd have to use the service blocks which are, uh, I think the only one I have is education, uh, the library actually. You do these little service blocks to, uh, in as a stadium or a commercial building, whatever building it's supposed to be. You place that in there to make this procedural object work as a functioning building. And then that's how you would create a uh, underground parking garage. And I've done that in, uh, I've done that in builds before, um, not on camera though, that was before I started making videos, uh, but yeah, it was fun. Uh, it took a while to get it to work right, and that was back uh, multiple procedure object versions ago, so um, it's a lot easier to work with now than what it was back then, so uh, it, uh, it's, it's easier to do now. And, uh, 
there's a lot more objects in the game, assets that you can go over to procedural objects now, and it will uh, it will uh, allow you to do more things and allow you to work with a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm thinking is this garage would be our imaginary underground parking here. It would be um, um, I'm thinking it would still be just one level, maybe. One level of parking, maybe two levels of parking down. But I'm thinking that this would be, the parking would be like two stories below. Or maybe even three stories below. Um, a, because of all the trees and all the grass uh, would need to root. Um, and then uh, B, just for the surface and everything. So, I'm thinking that the way that would work is um, uh, you would need entrances for pedestrians to get in to get their cars. And obviously there would be elevators in this stadium, there would be elevators in this building, and maybe even escalators and stairs. Uh, well, obviously there would be stairs, you'd have to have stairs for fire codes. Um, but there would be uh, elevators and stairs in these buildings to get down here. But I'm thinking with everybody coming out of this stadium, that you would need a massive entrance uh, to get down into this parking garage. Um, maybe even a couple of them. So I came up with an idea. What we're going to do is instead of just saying, oh, they could just use elevators in this um, stadium, I'm going to actually build um, a uh, entrance to the underground stadium for pedestrians here. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I think you can probably guess on how uh, I'm going to do that. Um, but I will take a uh, pedestrian path uh, because we need the, um, we're back up to the surface here, there we go, um, I need the uh, zoning. So we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm thinking if you're building this as a playable city, you would have like a invisible path or way um, for people to walk around these. If you just concrete this area over, they won't. People will not. Want um, I'm not a big fan of connecting. I just did because I think it, it. I think it causes problems with the traffic. But if you put it close enough to the road it will connect and the pedestrians will walk that way uh, and the way you can tell is on this one I have the uh, yeah see that's not close enough um, but if you move it close enough That shows connected. So pedestrians will use that. Even though it's not connected node to node, they will, they will use it. I'm just not a big fan of connecting it to the node because to me it creates problems with, with the traffic with the uh, road. But you do want to connect your pedestrian paths uh, to other pedestrian paths uh, node. No, to no, that to me, uh, I've never ran into it where that causes any problems. Um, that that actually works the best to do it that way. So we'll cover that, and then we got our pedestrian path. You can see the street lights running through there. Um, we'll go ahead and, and uh, concrete all this over. Um, this is a large asset, so obviously, if if the uh, actual building itself, um, which is, the game only sees the building as this square. If that falls out of view, the stadium disappears um, from view. And uh, so you can then see underneath of it. But it's just kind of hard to do. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, let's get started here. Um, I'm going to use these underground entrances here. Um, I'm going to put this one I think I want to put 
plop this one here for now. I think I'm going to move these around. Yeah, this one's not too far off from where I want it. Um, And then we'll move this one right like that. I think we're going to leave a little walkway there. Um, maybe we'll pull this out just a little bit more. Pull this one out. That leave that walkway a little bit bigger. If you do want a uh, playable city, you'd want to run a pathway through here because um, I think we're going to uh, maybe we'll uh, move this. A, uh, as a barrier for that. And then uh, yeah, this works for good. Uh, we do need to get rid of that one. Right. ambitious with uh, plopping those down, so we need to pull this one back, and then we need to get rid of this one here. Oh, okay, maybe I didn't put it on there, okay, good. Okay, so I just need to pull that one back, and then um, see if we can get this to fill this in here. See if we can get one. To fill that in. And then we'll take care of that here in a minute. Uh, that's not too terribly bad. Um, thinking maybe maybe we move that node. Which I think we gotta do that from the bottom here. Yeah, I just moved it up. One one push of uh, page up, and that fixed it. Okay. Um, so how does this look here? I think this looks pretty good. And you know what? I just got, thought of a good idea here. Um, I just came up with something. And, um, obviously, we're going to move this pedestrian path here have to have it in order to get these to uh, in order to get these to connect um, but what I was thinking was around like this
And then I think the arrow is showing where the entrance would be. I don't have... Uh, There's a mod that will allow you to uh, change the entry points, and I don't have that loaded at this point, but I think they would come in there, so they would walk down, and that would be perfect. But I, I, I thought of a good idea. What we could do here is we could take a pathway and uh, put it on elevated, and drop it yeah we're probably gonna have to move it a little bit because it doesn't look like it's you know but do elevate this up to yeah, let's leave it at seven meters from now but we're gonna run it in building. So we're gonna leave that right there, and then um, I'm thinking is we grab. This then. Going to move it. Select node only. And we'll do that. Slide note up again, we'll drop this down again. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to pull this back to here. And then it looks like But we can fix that. I know that looks ugly right now, but we'll fix that. Um, and then we'll pull this out. Um, How's that look? Yeah, it needs to come up a little bit. Um, yeah. So what we'll need to do... We'll, uh, select this node. Bring that up. Just a little bit. And then... Uh, see if we can get a hold of this node in here. There we go. 
grab that note there. And what we want to do is we want the height of this single node right here. There. So that should be level across there. All right. And then to get this to look better, I'm going to select this again and try to get this twisted to where that's almost straight. There we go. And then go into uh, no control. We want to use the end piece here. And we want to go into stretch. It's at 100%. We want to drop this down. Drop it way down. Uh, let's drop it down to 75%. See how that looks. Drop it down to 70%, a little bit lower than that even. And then obviously we'll grab the node again. Kind of move it over. And you don't want to shift it. Okay, let's try this again. I um, want to drop this down even lower. There we go. That looks pretty good. You have to almost be on top of it to tell that there's a problem with it. And then, obviously, just for, uh, I don't know whether you call that continuity or just for uh, ease, I guess, uh, you want to do the same thing here. I think we went down to 60% something like that and then obviously as you get closer to the building you can whiten up a little bit that's fine but when as these people filter out of here you want them to filter down into a stream I think that looks good now that we do still have a connection issue here obviously um, I think that's probably because there's not a ground there's not a ground um, connection here so maybe uh, that so did not work direction well, that fixed that but it also created a problem with the node here
there, that looks better. It's not perfect. But everything is connected. The pathway looks pretty decent, even though that would probably need to correct the slope a little bit. Um, slope is a little bit steep, but Got a no controller and slope there. There, that's a little bit better. All right, and then it connects to the ground too. So I guess that uh, that works. And then you could obviously have the uh, path come out. Uh, well, you'd have it come out the other side here, or you could have it come out and wrap around to this side. Uh, and then to do that. So, uh, but what I'm thinking is, um, I don't know if we'll have uh, two, um, no, that's fine. I guess a large walkway there would work best. Um, I know that's going to mess up the other side, but let's take a look here and see what we could do about it. Um, maybe if we just moved it to match this. And we got rid of this. Not perfect, but um, that creates a uh, ideal situation of having a, a walkway uh, around here um, into that parking lot. I need to adjust these. Uh, both these canes are called like bullets. I think it's how you pronounce that. Billets, maybe, maybe billets is how you pronounce it. Move the fire hydrant just a little bit. So that looks pretty good there. And then I'm thinking uh, maybe we'll grab the decals I used for the other walkway. Um, which I'm not sure, I think it's this one here. It is not. I think it's this one. Um, That's not probably going to work there because the parking stalls, it looks like the walkway is not that wide. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and go back to the trusty uh, bowers, maybe. Boards, I'm not sure. Go ahead and put those in. Uh, and probably have a layer here. Of course, that's at like six and a half meters, something, and maybe like two meters. That may be too big. There we 
go. So I'm thinking maybe we'll move. that one in and we'll move that one in from the lamppost alright so that looks pretty good there and the rest of it's concrete so it wouldn't necessarily have to be uh, why is that oh it's because it's still on okay I was gonna say why was that green there um, wouldn't necessarily have to be like the pathway or anything um, because the rest of this is kind of concrete, um, so that would be fine. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, uh, let's see, looking to see what else. Did want to go ahead and turn in this into like a, I'm trying to decide whether you should show, whether we should use yellow or red or what type of loading zone here we should use. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and put in another zone, like, yeah, it should, go by, it should go by just a little bit past it. We're going to put another one in there, um, and then we'll use the intersection marking tool there. Do fill. And then we're going to fill the solid. I don't know, I think yellow kind of looks better. Uh, typically red zone is loading and unloading only though. I think that's more universal, so maybe we should just use that. I think we'll just stick to that, because that is pretty universal in most, uh, most areas. Mostly airports, but uh, that is pretty universal there. All right, um, so the next thing we're going to do um, is we're going to back over to this area. And we are going to add a um, another road here. Um, We're going to put in a parking lot here, so I'm thinking um, we will add in a two lane road. Shows elevated, so maybe we'll do a short stint of an elevated road here. Oh, did yeah, okay, that works. And then, and then. There we go. Well, I'll leave it like that for now. All right. Um, so then uh, I'm thinking. Uh, well, first thing I got to thinking, uh, we're going to use an asymmetrical here. Now, why did I elevate that part? I'll elevate the other one. Interesting. Okay. Either way, uh, we're going to use an asymmetrical road there. Um, 
I'm not sure if I want it to be the way back there, but we're going to leave it for right now. Um, I do know that we're going to change this node here to uh, is it middle, I think it is. Yeah, middle. Uh, so we're going to leave that, and then we're also going to change the lanes here to um, left only and straight only. Because uh, I don't want them to be able to go turn into the mall, uh, into the mall parking lot, or into the mall area. All right. So now that we have that, um, can't really have a uh, entrance into this parking lot this close. So I want to run it all the way down here. So we're going to have a pedestrian pathway. It's going to be ground level. And it's sticking to... Well, let's just go ahead and build it to where I want it. Because it's kind of being a pain. Um, we we'll want this node, like say right here, and then uh, is there a node in the middle? No, good. Then we we'll want this node right here. So that gives us a pedestrian path all the way down here. Um, that's the reason why I didn't want that elevated there. So we will bring this down to here, and then we will. Elevate this over to there Get that up to where that's level ground there. And then we want to build this this side. Just like this. Just like that. And then in tradition of that other pathway that we made on the last video, I believe it was. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and corner this off just because I honestly think they look better with the sharp corner corners and the insides the insides kind of curved uh, with the outsides I think they look better like that I think it gives a little bit of a A little bit of a something. Um, yeah, see, just like that. I like that. And then I'm thinking um, we got a path coming down this way. I'm thinking that maybe we'll bring another path. Um, Down this way. Just 
sure you would bring it. It's no doubt. Sure, put that note there. And then bring this note in. Elevate that up to get rid of that little uh, clipping there or the weird texture, and then we'll leave that like that. Um, now, there is some weird pillars, lack of pillars going on there, and some weird shading going on here, which I think that's that started with the. Uh, uh, the painter mod, I think that's what it is. Uh, the painter mod, ever since the uh, Pedestrians and Promenade uh, DLC, um, when they did the update for the paint, it started doing that. And it doesn't happen very often. And I'm almost positive that's what it is, but uh, just got to kind of ignore it and work with it. There we go. All right, so we got all of that out of there. So I'm thinking uh, what we'll do, we're gonna bring in, we're gonna bring in a road entrance. Um, right. I think we're gonna bring uh, this in. Not connecting to that because I do not connect them to the uh, pathways again. It messes up the uh, roads, in my opinion. And then I'm thinking maybe. Uh, Then maybe maybe we just switch this to a plain road. Down here. Maybe it's a situation where you come in down at the other end, but you come out on this other side and take that one-way road out. Um, I see, I see them doing that. And then I can't decide whether we're going to put some trees in here. Or whether they're going to put some parking spaces on this side. I kind of like uh, the idea of putting maybe uh, maybe some trees in here, some grass, and maybe like the original uh, the original forested area there. Um, I don't know. I think we'll gonna leave it for now and not do anything with it, and then. Uh, Here. And I think, yeah, we'll just connect it straight over. Well, some parking lots in here, which doesn't seem like there's a lot of room, but you can get quite a few stalls in there. You can get quite a few parking spots in there. Um, not sure in, in reality whether it would be worth all of the. Uh, um, all of the uh, sky walkways and everything, but uh, um, that's the way we're doing it, because it's kind of how I had a plan, so. All right. 
have those over as far as we can and then that's over here and then I think we're just going to have this walkway um, I'm going to bring this out to here just because I don't see anything so then we'll just bring it down just have it come in right here And then that should be yeah ground level and then it would it, it should uh, even in the game it should work uh, just fine and then obviously uh, I'm gonna put a couple couple things of parking in here just so you can see it but I'll do most of it off camera uh, just because it's just going to be placing parking. I'm thinking uh, thinking stalls going that direction um, So I'm trying to decide if I want them all to go the same direction or do I want this to like curve around as as the uh, road curves. Um, Try to put them all in the same direction. So we're going to put these in here, and then uh, we've got a pillar right there, but that's okay because then we can move these underneath this road here, or underneath that walkway. Um, I almost want to use the other one so that way the parking is not. Yeah, um, so there's stalls on that road there, but no, you really wouldn't want them there, um, because that's kind of like the entrance, so. And then I think I'm going to have to manually put, uh, pretty much the rest of these on here. Um. in here right here with some, a small line of bushes and but there's still a, still enough for a drive on this end um, and then obviously the drive on that end and then we'll just put stalls all the way down and then maybe we'll put another entrance um, yeah put another entrance there at this node and straight into the corner and then all the parking stalls will be this direction all the way down obviously having to adjust for the road and then maybe they shift to a different angle here or maybe we don't even have any more parking on this side um, I kind of want to over here, but maybe we could do something else right here in this area right here and then have more parking over here on this side. I think that's probably what we'll do. That'll give us another entrance because this would be the entrance that people would drive into this one and this one and then they would have it set up that after the event they would force you to go out this one and uh, either turn or uh, to go straight. Uh, down this one way. All right. Well, it's been about an hour and five minutes. Uh, that was a little bit of a lengthy one, but we got quite a bit of stuff done. Um, we got these uh, these entrances done here. I am going to detail them and uh, put some bushes on here. Um, obviously, add some more landscaping right here. Um, 
I think we may do, uh, yeah, we may just do some walk, a walkway right here, uh, so that way it comes under the, under the, uh, pathway there, and then, uh, do some landscaping bushes in here, uh, just so it looks nice and everything. And then, uh, we're really gonna figure out some sort of decoration for this center, um, piece as you're walking in there, as you're driving in, um. Uh, if anybody has any ideas, place that in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions or anything, uh, the name of the uh, the name of the uh, uh, prop or asset that you would recommend putting right there. Uh, obviously, it can't be too large, but I do want it to be uh, uh, significant. You know, significant enough that it, it looks. Uh, looks big enough that it, it, it was thought out and thought to be there. Uh, hit that like button, it helps the video, and um, uh, obviously uh, hit the subscribe button, um, little astronaut there at the end of the movie, uh, right in the center of the screen, you can probably see him right now. Um, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more videos, and we'll see you next time. This is Gomer with Gomer Games. Thank you for your time.